Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain you how to do evaluation of postfix expression using stack. First of all, let us see what is postfix expression and what is the concept of stack. A postfix expression A postfix expression is the one in which operators are written after their operands. For example, you can see 4, 2, 3, 5, division, plus and multiplication. In this example, 4, 2, 3, 5 are operands and division plus multiplication are operators. So, these operators are written after the operands. This is called as a postfix expression. Now, the concept of stack. The stack is a linear list where you have to perform push operation that is insertion of an element and pop operation that is deletion of an element at only one end that is the top of the stack. We move on for solving a particular postfix expression. That is, we have to find out the value of this particular postfix expression. The expression is 2, 3, plus 6, 1, minus multiplication. Let us start the push and pop operations on the stack. The first element is 2. So, I will push it on the stack since it is an operand. The next element is 3. It is also an operand. So, I will push it on the stack after 2. So, 3 becomes the topmost element in the stack. We now have plus in between. Plus is an operator, so the rule says that we have to perform that plus operation on the topmost elements in the stack, that is the two topmost elements in the stack. So, we will perform addition operation on 2 and 3. We will do this addition in this way. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. In this case, we will do the addition in this way that we will have to take the second topmost element at the first position and the first topmost element at the second position. Now, we will delete that is pop away 3 and 2 from the stack and insert the result which is 5 on the stack. The next element is 6. 6 is an operand, so we have to push it on the stack. I will insert it after 5. The next element is 1. So, 1 is also an operand, so I will push it on the stack. I will push it after 6. So, now 1 becomes the topmost element. The next is minus. Minus is an operator. We have to perform that operation on the two topmost elements in the stack. Look here that we will not perform 1 minus 6. We will have to perform 6 minus 1 as I said earlier. Now 6 minus 1 results in 5. So now you have to delete 1 and 6 from the stack and push the result 5 on the stack. So, I will insert that resultant 5 above the element 5 in the stack. 5 now becomes the topmost element. The next is multiplication. Again, we have to perform multiplication on these two elements. So, we multiply 5 by 5. This gives us the answer 25. Now we delete this 5 and this 5 from the stack and push back the result that is insert the result 25 in the stack. There are no more operands or operators in the postfix expression. So we have come to the end of the expression. So now whatever is remaining in the stack as the topmost element is the resultant. So you can see that 25 is the answer 
by evaluating this postfix expression. In this way, you can solve certain examples related to this topic. The rules for evaluating postfix expression are here. First, operands are always pushed, that is, inserted on the stack. If you encounter an operator, then in that case, what we have to do is that perform that operation using that operator. So, how to do that? The top two operands of the stack are taken to perform that operation. Now, these two operands are popped off, that is, deleted from the stack, and their result from that operation is pushed back on the stack. Also, you can see that the operation is performed by taking the second topmost as the first operand and the first topmost element in the stack as the second operand. These are the rules for evaluating the postfix expression. I hope you have understood these concepts clearly. Thank you for watching this video.